Our organization has been advocating for as universal a pre-K program as possible for Memphis children. For too long, our children have uh, suffered under uh, conditions of underfunding, lack of resources, uh, lack of safe nurturing environments. I mean, we've got a school district with over 100,000 kids and not enough of them graduate from that school system prepared for college or the workforce. And part of where we fall down is in that, those early grades. And so the only way we're gonna make sure they're prepared is to invest and expand access to pre-K classrooms. I think pre-K is so important. It's so important because if you don't get a pre-K start, a head start beginning, you're gonna be left behind by the time you get to school. The funding for programming here in Memphis is very difficult. It's, uh, there's not a lot of options. Our pre-K program was historically funded through a federal expansion grant, and that program had served a thousand children uh, over the last four years. But that federal grant, like all grants, expire. And so we started having conversations here locally about how do we sustain this very important program, but not just sustain it, but continue to scale it and continue to improve it. Down the line, if a child has a pre-K experience, they're less likely to go to jail. They're more apt to go to college. They're more apt to have a better education and experience compared to those students who don't go to pre-K. We brought Make Home Capital to one of our convenings of some of our most advanced cradle-to-career partnerships and asked them to talk about the work that they do we met the team from Seeding Success and we really realized pretty quickly that there was a way to expand pre-K in Memphis using outcomes financing. We had heard about innovation in this space, particularly the pay for performance model. And so when we met with some of the folks that said, hey, that model might work in Shelby County, you know, we were excited, uh, we were curious. Outcomes financing is where private sector investors come into a community and provide the upfront financing to expand needed services. It was a real partnership between Seeding Success and Makeham that allowed us to find a path where we were able to identify the most effective programs, uh, understand what the outcomes of those programs have been and what they could be, and then build an economic model and a financing model around that. For government, the value proposition is pretty simple. They identify the priority, they decide on the metrics, and then they only pay when the program works. Our work is about every child cradle to career, regardless of zip code, race, or circumstance of that child. There is so much more work to do, and we know that in order to be able to achieve the results we're working to achieve, we have to be able to sustain this work over the long term. Outcomes-based financing really is a tool uh, that can be used to, to direct public resources to the interventions that get the best results. Basically a model that says that we would only have to pay for our pre-K program if, in fact, our kids saw growth and if the performance indicators were positive. We track data internally at Seeding Success to make sure those programs are delivering the outcomes that we intend them to get. So attendance and program, uh, we're looking at early literacy gains, and then we're looking at how those kids perform when they first get to kindergarten. There's a third party that's always at the table. So in this case, it's the University of Memphis. They have some folks who have been working with partners on the ground around data collection, and they will review the data, and that is the data that will then lead to the outcome payments. Measuring the success of classrooms would be impossible for us as a government. We don't have the capacity or the expertise. Also, uh, it'd be very difficult for us as local government to administer expanding the number of classrooms in our community. With a cradle to career partnership in the mix of this, this type of work, you know that you have someone who is looking at the data, understanding what the needs of the community are and what the data is telling us about those needs and can really drive towards the best interventions that get results for all kids. This is about changing the way public systems support every child and every family. And in doing so, it creates an opportunity for the public sector and the private sector through private capital and philanthropy to work together. There was a girl. She was nonverbal for the most part. But by the time she left us, she was able to stand on the stage and do Maya Angelou. And 
in her own way, she was able to say, I still rise. And it was just so amazing because her mom was in tears when it happened.